Okay, John. Here's number five. Okay. Okay. I need a little water. Okay. He began drinking around 9 a.m. 80 proof Jack Daniels sour mash whiskey. John Evans of Northwestern University's yeah. Traffic Institute had agreed to serve as a test subject to demonstrate a new roadside alcohol detection method. In other words, he agreed to get drunk. The technique known as the gaze nystagmus test was being demonstrated before a seminar of police officers and county prosecutors. The idea behind the test is relatively simple. A sober person's horizontal eye movement is smooth. The eye movement of a person who is drunk is jerky. Horizontal gaze nystagmus is a, a natural condition that exists when people are using alcohol. And this is a, a matter of evaluating the amount and degree of the involuntary eye movement of the person's eyes. He has no control over this as he might in another kind of test, a balanced test, if you will. Two hours and nine shot glasses later, our test subject was well on his way. I feel drunk. <laughs> Very drunk. Since trying to operate an alcohol breath testing machine such as this one out of a patrol car might present some problems, officials say the gaze nystagmus test fills a real need for more accurate roadside tests for the presence of alcohol. People are becoming more cognizant of the fact that the drinking driver kills some 25,000 people a year uh, on the nation's highways. And we are trying to uh, combat that particular problem with an increased awareness and with a uh, increased capability of the police officer to uh, get a conviction in court. Those who teach the horizontal gaze nystagmus technique say it is 85% accurate, not only at determining whether a person has been drinking, but also how much. Steve Sanders, WGN News.